Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triple M Games, and in this short video I'm going to be talking about topology and edge flow. As you can see here, I have a plane that I extruded down, and if I were to double click on this edge, the faces will all select around the border. If I select this one, it selects this border, and double click over here, and it'll select this, and over here, all the way across, and so forth. So let's get started and add a new plane. I'm going to Shift A, add a mesh plane. I'm going to move this over. And edit mode. I'm going to go into vertex select. I'm going to select these two vertex. Press J. Select these three edges. Right click and subdivide. I'm going to select this edge here, X, and Limited Dissolve. And that is the basics of what that shape is. I'm going to select this whole plane, press I, and move everything in. I'm going to select this, press I, move in, select these two, Shift R, and then we'll select these, press I, hold Control, move in, and then release Control and move the mouse just a little bit. And I'm going to go into edge select mode, select the outside border, press E, Z, hold control and shift, and then press F to fill. And I'm going to right click and object mode, shade smooth, go over to the data panel, auto smooth, go to modifiers, add modifier, weighted normal. Keep sharp, and set this to face area and angle. And we can even add in a bubble. Just hold shift while you move that. And I'm going to set this to round 3. And I'm going to set this to round 50. So that's really quickly what we can do if we want to make another shape. Something a little bit more interesting. You can go over here. Vertex select mode. J. Select these three edges. Right click. Subdivide. Select this one. Limited dissolve. I'm going to select these three. Control and B to bevel. And somewhere around there. X. Faces. And I'll go into face select mode. Select this, and I to inset, I to inset again, making it somewhat fairly small. Control and E, subdivide. Set this to round 5, and make sure that you have the loop tools add-on enabled, uh, mesh loop tools. It comes included with Blender. It'll be in the edit tab. Now we can go to circle. And I'm going to press X and delete faces. Go into edge select mode. I'll shift and double click to select all those. I'm going to scale them out. And press E, scale again. And then we can select the outside edges. I'll we'll press E and then Z. Uh, twice. And we'll move it down to somewhere around there ish. And I'm just going to select these two. Press F to fill in, and we have this area to fill. So let's select all those. Hold Alt and press F to fill. This will fill with a triangulation. And another thing we're going to do is press A to select everything. Hold Shift and press N to recalculate normals. I'm going to hold Control and press R to create a loop cut here. Go into face select mode. And I'm just going to double click here. Press I, hold Control, and move the mouse, and then left click to set. Then we now have a shape that is more interesting. If I hold Control and press 2, we will add a subdivision modifier. This isn't exactly what we want, so we'll go into edit mode. 
I'm going to go into Edge Select, then click on Select, go to Select Sharp Edges, and that should be good. I'm going to press Shift and E to adjust the edges, and then press 1, and left click to set. And now we have the ability to change how many subdivisions the object has. I can go up here and to wireframe to see this in action, go to your modifier and uncheck optimal display. This will allow you to see what the edge flow or loop cuts are going to be like. And if you want to have some fun, you can throw on a material and it will give you a more interesting view of what you're making. I went through ambient occlusion edgeware in the past in one of my other videos, but just in case you want to see it here, it's kind of a kind of a mess. But... So basically, I'm just mixing two different texture sets together. And then mixing them with the ambient occlusion edgeware mask. And it gets kind of messy. <laughs> I have my textures set to box and a blend of one. Everything is non-color except for the base color. Now, another thing you can do if you want to have a little bit of more fun, you can select this edge, Control B to bevel, or you can press the N key, go over to item, change the bevel weight to one, Close that window, go to the Modifier tab, Add Modifier, and Bevel. And then we're going to set the Angle to Weight. And now we can adjust our Bevel. And then underneath all of this, we can add a weighted normal, keep sharp, and face area and angle. Make sure you go to the data tab and select auto smooth. And we can shade smooth. So hopefully this video gives you an idea of what you can do with various geometrical shapes and gives you a better idea on edge flow. Uh, keep in mind something like this is creating an n-gon, but because we're subdividing it becomes all quads, so everything is good. <laughs> and this is the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below if you like the idea of me making shorter quick tip videos or if you prefer longer, more in-depth videos. Thank you for watching and have a good day.